Tonight, those who treated Salia are taking time to heal. Doctors and nurses form a bond with every patient they treat, and this morning's death was especially difficult. Gave it everything and then some, and that was their focal point. In the end, even the best medicine and highly trained doctors couldn't save Martin Salia. And now um, I think they, they need a little time to grieve and, and uh, really find peace within themselves. Those who attempted to save his life take his death to heart. They go home and they think about it and worry about it. Even if there was nothing, you would have done differently. And so this, this case is like that, but it certainly does not mean we're going to uh, give up our mission. Nebraska Medical's mission is similar to that of United Methodist Kissy. That's the West Africa hospital surgeon Martin Salia worked for when he contracted the virus. In Africa as a continent, 40% um, of health care is done by faith-based hospitals. Salia wanted to save lives, just like doctors tried to save his. Zach Anderson is a pastor of a United Methodist Church in Omaha. His congregation is mourning the death of a man who gave his own life for others. We just thought it was important to not only uh, pray for Dr. Slee at the time and his family, but also to just bring awareness to the, uh, the outbreak of Ebola across the world. Salia's passing is the first Ebola patient death at Nebraska Medical. And I don't think we do feel defeated. We are going to analyze this. We're going to learn from it. We're going to figure out how we can do better with every single case. Doctors will use his death as a learning experience to gain more knowledge of this deadly virus. His blood will be sent to the CDC for testing. Reporting live, Rebecca at KMTV Action 3 News.